There are more than a handful of currencies in use here. Bitcoin is the newest addition to the basket and is outperforming all the rest. Use has skyrocketed. Trade on the local exchange exceeded 1 million US dollars last month. What they expected to achieve in a year, they achieved in just a month in October. That alone shows you the appetite um, that Zimbabweans have. Now to put that into perspective, during all of 2016, the exchange processed just 100,000 US dollars worth of Bitcoin. At $13,000, it's trading at nearly double the $7,000 obtaining on other major international exchanges. The premium is as a result of growing demand due to unique circumstances. Where someone in, um, say, in South Africa would buy Bitcoin because they just want to see how this thing works or for speculatory reasons, in Zimbabwe, there's actually, uh, there are actually problems that are being solved by Bitcoin. The currency is being used for international and online payments, mainly for second-hand vehicle purchases, currently not being processed by local banks owing to the currency shortages. It's also fast becoming the preferred mode for sending remittances from the diaspora. With Bitcoin, it's possible because of these price differences for someone to send $100 worth of Bitcoin and for you to actually retrieve $150 worth of Bitcoin, um, $150 in cash here. Yeah. So for the first time in Zimbabwe, it is possible for someone to send money and the recipient to get more than was sent. With no immediate end in sight to a long-running and crippling currency shortage, use of the virtual currency is expected to become more entrenched. Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, as well as the technology that underpin uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, I would re collectively refer to them as the future of money. Uh, for the simple reason that uh, it's technology that has brought uh, efficiencies in the financial system. Most Zimbabwean banks have suspended international card services such as Visa and MasterCard. They've also begun prioritizing corporate cash withdrawals in a bid to drive individuals to use swipe and electronic transfers to reduce bank queues. Farai Mwakutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.